Hi, my name is Sina Javan Kushtel and I'm the product manager of Slide 2 and Slide 3 software. In this video, I'm going to talk about search methods in a Slide 2 and a Slide 3 software to find the critical slip surface and its corresponding factor of safety. Let's start with the Slide 3. Our 3D classic search includes different types of surface shapes, ellipsoid, a sphere, and our recent advancement, which was developed in-house, which is a spline. Then we go to different types of search. Cuckoo search and particle swarm are global optimization search methods. Then these are petaheuristic search methods and very strong tools. Particle swarm optimization includes our unique multimodal optimization as well that gives you not just the global minimal, but also other failure surfaces that they have the similar factor of safety, but at different locations. In addition to our global optimization techniques, such as Cuckoo Search and Particle Swarm, we have our in-house local optimization approach, which is called Surface Altering Optimization as well. Surface Altering Optimization is a very strong tool to find the most critical steep surface, and it is very important in the 3D search methods. Recently, we introduced an in-house developed method which is an AI-based approach called Intelligent Search, which is a revolutionary in the search area of the 3D modeling. A slide 2 search methods are similar to a slide 3 search methods. We have our global optimization techniques, such as Cuckoo Search and Particle Swarm Optimization. Also, we have another method called Simulated Annealing Approach as well. In addition to our global optimization techniques, we have our local optimization approach, which is surface altering optimization as well. This method, similar to 3D, helps the search process a lot in terms of finding the most critical steep surface. Now let's look at the model that I'll show you in a slide 3 and a slide 2, how we use these search methods to find the most critical steep surface. Let's look at that. And this is the 3D model that we have in the Slide 3 software. This model has two weak layers defined, and it has a complex geometry. So we want to use our search methods to find the most critical slip surface. Let's look at the search options that we have in the Slide 3 software. If we go to the surfaces, slip surface options, Let's start with the classic search. Classic search, we have different surface shapes. Since we have two weak layers in this model, we have different types of weak layer handling options. Always a snap to the highest, automatic case generation, and heuristic weak layer handling, which is the new option released in the slide 3 software. In terms of search methods, we have Cuckoo Search and Particle Swarm Search. And for Particle Swarm, we have Unimodal Optimization and Multimodal Optimization. And at the end, we have Surface Altering Optimization as well. In addition to our classic search, this is the new advanced search methods that we have, which is called Intelligent Search. And again, the same type of weak layer handling and very flexible in terms of search refinement. Moderate is the default, but you can go find course or user defined. And for the user defined part, you can look at the number of factor of safety and steep surfaces you want to see, number of clusters, and minimum number of preliminary surfaces. For the sake of this example, I'm going to use the moderate option. And surface altering optimization is activated as well. Let's compute this model in a slide three and look at the results. The compute is done. Now let's look at the results of the slide 3 software. You go to the results tab, and you can see that there are three different failure surfaces found by the intelligence search. Intelligence search gives you a safety map for your model as well. You can see that this is the region of failure. Also, for each slip surface, you can hide them and look at them one by one. This is the most critical steep surface calculated in a slide 3 software. Let's look at the weak layer properties that we have in a slide 3. So you can see that 
Weak layer 1 has the cohesion of 0 and friction angle of 20 degrees. So how do we know that this critical slip surface touched the weak layer? To see that, we can go to the contour options in the slide 3 software. So if you go to show contours, and in the contour section, we look at the base cohesion, which was 0 for the weak layer. And you can see that how this critical slip surface touched the first weak layer, and it has the value of the cohesion for most part of it. In slide 3, we have a new feature that you can take a 2D section cut through your global minimums and take it to a slide 2 software. So if you go to interpret, you can go to create 2D sections through global minimums. And the software creates 3 2D sections since we had 3 failure surfaces for the Spencer method. The reason for that is if the 2D section cut goes through the center of the critical slip surface in the slide 3, the results are more comparable. Hit OK. These three sections are created. I'm interested only in one of them that goes through the most critical slip surface. We go to this option, Compute Export to Slide 2. Click on Compute Export to Slide 2 option. And for this one, I'm just going to select Spencer minimum one and click on open. Here's the 2D section created in a slide three software. And you can see that we have two weak layers that are created from a slide three. If we go to the surfaces, surface options, you can see that since it was intelligent search in a slide three, now in a slide two, they are compatible. In slide 2, we have particle swarm with multiple, which is MMO option. And for weak layer handling, we have heuristic weak layer handling, which is it was selected in slide 3 software. Now let's compute the slide 2 model. To look at the results in slide 2, we go to the analysis, interpret. The default minimum slip surfaces in the MMO option, the slide two is four. So you can see that we have four minimal factor of safeties. And the most critical one goes through the first weak layer and the second one goes to the second weak layer. And we have other slip surfaces as well. So if we go back to the slide three software, you can look at the 2D slip surfaces coming from the slide two software as well. And if you look at the most critical one, which is 0.93, it is compatible with the slide three factor of safety. So it goes through the first layer of the weak layers that we have in this model. Similar to the slide three software, we can look at the values along the critical slip surface and see what are the values along the critical slip surface? To do that, we look at the values along the critical slip surface. So we look at the base cohesion. And you can see that similar to the slide 3 software, most of the critical slip surface in the slide 2 software has the cohesion of 0. And the rest goes to the other material. That's how you confirm that your critical slip surface touched the weak layer. In this video, I showed you the advanced search methods that we have in the slide 2 and the slide 3 software in a model with different weak layers. If you have any questions regarding this, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you.